Our top story at this hour, blood is spilled again at a U.S. school. 20 people, 19 students and one adult, are stabbed at a high school outside of Pittsburgh. Fortunately, no fatalities resulted. And the stabbing spree, well, it only ended when an administrator helped tackle the 16-year-old suspect. Ebru's Tasmeen Mahfouz is live now on the scene with the latest developments. Tasmeen. Logan, good evening. Well, it was a bloody rampage here at the high school behind me. And actually, most of the story unfolded on social media as students posted and tweeted pictures on Twitter and Instagram. Now, what we do know is that a 16-year-old male sophomore entered the building with two knives. The police chief says that the knives are about 8 to 10 inches long. They were straight knives. And he started to stab students in two hallways and one classroom. The incident took about five minutes before, like you said, the assistant principal and security security guard tackled him to the ground. The security guard was actually also stabbed during the scuffle. Now, the students who watched the incident in horror say that the suspect was quiet during the entire incident. And to confirm that, a doctor who treated the hurt say that the victims didn't even realize that they were being stabbed. They felt pain and they looked down and they saw that they were bleeding. Luckily, no one has died, but one 17-year-old male teenager is said to be in critical condition because the knife was just a millimeter away from his heart. A 16-year-old student armed with a knife went on a stabbing and slashing spree at Franklin Regional High School in Murraysville near Pittsburgh. 20 people are injured, including four students who remain in critical condition. Two of the patients are right now in the operating room and a third one is being transported to the operating room uh, at this point. These are all patients who had stab wounds uh, of the chest and abdomen. The suspect, a male student, has been taken into custody and is being questioned by police. The school principal had interaction as well as the school resource officer who handcuffed him and he was secure. Investigators believe another student may have pulled a fire alarm to alert others. A life-saving move. In a situation like this, you, you want the students to run. You know, going back to the fire alarm being pulled, I mean, that's the purpose is to evacuate. You want the kids to get out of the area. The violence occurred in classrooms and a hallway early morning. All the victims are expected to pull through. One thing about youth is um, they are resilient. Police said the suspect used two knives, though it isn't immediately clear what led to the attack. Now, the governor of Pennsylvania said that the students and teachers served as heroes during the incident. They stood by their classmates, and they de even defended their classmates from getting stabbed. Now, what ignited this teen's rage is still unclear. His identity has still been concealed, but uh, the schools here all have been closed. It's a small area. It actually reminded me of Newtown. It's a small suburban area. You wouldn't expect something like this to happen here. Um, but right now, there will be grief counseling while school is closed as police continue the investigation to find out what sparked this rage. Uh, right now they're saying that there might be incidents of bullying that hasn't been confirmed, but as the investigation continues, they're able to find out, you know, was he someone who was silent? Was this a mental issue? Was this a bullying issue? So we'll have more details for you as the investigation continues. Reporting live from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, I'm Thasmeen Mafus. Logan, back to you. Many questions still to be answered. Tasmeen, thank you so much for that report.